lot of rain in the night here. Amazing. Windy and raining. I know it's very wet, but uh, yeah, all looks really calm again now though, no wind again. It's a bit strange, it quickly can change. Okay, so we go, get the bikes downstairs. Yes. Bikes loaded. It's a beautiful landscape here. Yeah. We have to ride mainly on the main road here today. There's no, uh, well, not as many options here in Cambodia as there was in uh, Vietnam to get on the small roads. And yeah, so what happened yesterday when we tried? Some of the rivers don't have bridges, so uh, today we have to do 103 kilometers, so we don't really have time to waste. So uh, I'll stay on this road today. So that's not going to be the big adventure, but that's the way it is today. Just have to. My, the view of the fields on the road here. Feels like we are cycling in Turkey again with a nice wide shoulder here, a nice smooth road. Much higher speed than normal. At this speed, 103 kilometers, not going to take much, much time. So, a completely different day today. Here we find modern restaurants, service stations. <laughs> Okay, here they also have voice in Cambodia, we can see on the television now. This is just Cambodia voice, it looks like Danish voice in Denmark. Well, this is completely different to yesterday, nice tea, egg, omelette here, and nice bread. Good thing about traveling in uh, these countries that used to be French colonies is they make really nice bread. Just like uh, Bini France. <laughs> Had the same in Vietnam and got the same in Cambodia. <laughs> now we're just leaving a town called Skun. We could have actually stayed there yesterday. But, uh, all I could read on the internet is not a nice town, so we decided to stop 10 kilometers before it. And now we just come through the outskirts. But it's all after here. Should be uh, very beautiful, especially where we're staying this evening. Let's see how it goes today. I will take a little trip over yonder, over yonder, so I can take a look around at what you've seen. I can see from where I am you're on an adventure in a place you can't describe. Some things can't be captured. This is the way you transport your goods when the only thing you have is a moped, which is what 90% of the people own here. Pictures this time Show me food and sights and sounds I wanna know what you find I want colors, colors, please Show me life ain't black and white Let me see you on the other side of the line Oh, the next contraption to drive behind Kind of rolling platform Some kind <laughs> It might be a pretty easy country to bike in, it's not really a big challenge. The only thing is the heat, I'm seeing a sweat here. <laughs> Within 30 minutes the t-shirt is just soaked and it stays like that all day. It's pretty uh, hot and humid, but uh, a nice road so far. Hello. 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 generation of Cambodians here, all cycling home from school. What a chaos of cars outside the school here, like anywhere in Europe. Just kids coming home on their own on their bikes.
read on the internet that just only 10 years ago some sections of this road wasn't uh, paved there was a lot of uh, gravel tracks it's only 10 years ago but now it's a nice very smooth uh, sealed road here Yeah, big difference today. Looks like there's these new modern service stations uh, being built, even with the toilet facilities. I think they serve snake here. <laughs> okay, now we just have eaten lunch and we have dim now our mosquitoes. 72 kilometers and we need to make 30 more kilometers. So, yeah. And the way is this way. Okay, musical moped. houses that are on the side of the road here well, we're cycling on a very modern new road at the side uh, at the side you have houses here that look like they've well, looked like this for hundreds of years pretty amazing really If you need a statue for the garden, an elephant or a god or something, this is where you get them from. Buddha. Wow. Hello! <laughs> Never seen anything like this before. It's pretty incredible just to see them making them here on the side of the road. <laughs> He's trying to negotiate what? No, Daddy's going to see 15. Do what you can do, yeah. No, Daddy. just buy whatever you can for ten dollars. No more than ten dollars. Him, he's got ten dollars to spend, but he wants a dragon. <laughs> so he's trying to do a bit of negotiating. I think he's going to end up with the Buddha. <laughs> okay, never seen anything like this. You could see the dust from a long way away. Never know why. Grinding machines at work here. Now we have done 90 kilometers and we need to do 103 kilometers today. And yeah, we only need 13 more. Yeah. And the way is this way. Okay. 
Okay, so we made it to Camp on Thom, the town we're staying in this evening. I will turn a little bit up here, the way up again, and then spend the night there. Yeah, it should be a hotel there on the left. Aruna Hotel. Oh, I see if we have space for us then. Okay, Jamie, we have a room. Yes, now we've just come to the hotel, so it's... Well, well done, 103 kilometers. That's the yes. furthest we've biked for, yeah, since Uzbekistan, so... Yes. Excellent, so, yeah. Let's go upstairs. Here we can take our bikes in the room. <laughs> okay, that was the end of today. Not the big adventure like yesterday, but just a nice bike ride through uh, Cambodia. So Yes, yep. so we have actually just been on the main road the most of the time today. Mm, yeah. yeah. That was okay <laughs> for one day, yeah. So yeah. That was just blasting the kilometers off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, another similar day tomorrow, not as far tomorrow, but uh, another day. So. Yeah. That was it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye -bye. On the bicycle. Yes. Bye bye. <laughs> see you.